it's the second uh, reopening of schools in Lagos, Nigeria, which is quite new to most schools in the area. And here in Igbobi College, well, the students feel okay because the school management has been able to handle the first and the second lockdown quite well. It's break time at the Igbobi College in Lagos, but unlike normal practice, the bells don't ring so as not to disturb some students who are still in class while others are going for break. After two lockdowns and two reopenings in one year, the school has had to make changes in its calendar. First, it was the COVID-19 pandemic. The state government had to order that all schools be shut, and after three months, the governor announced the reopening of schools. Not long after that came the protests to end police brutality in Lagos and across the country. With the post-protest violence getting worse, the state governor deemed it fit to shut the classrooms a second time. In my 19 years in this school, we've not witnessed something like this. It's a new thing. It's a strange thing. We call it, we said we are in the new normal. Uh, and it has these attendant effects. And we thank God we, we are coping. In Gobi College, we try to adapt to all situations. And the first one was a COVID-19 experience that has made us to rearrange our strategies. We have to up our games. We had to create two schools because we run boarding house and then we have our day students. We've been able to separate them. Uh, the day students are separated from the boarding house uh, students and then they have, they run different timetables. They have different break times and then um, the, the, the borders are secluded and from the day students they don't meet, but academic activities is going on with them at this, uh, simultaneously. Today the students are back in class again, but the schools have had to come up with new strategies to make up for lost times. Both lockdowns have left their marks on schools and education in general. We came to see how schools are reopening for the second time today. A normal school session is divided into three terms, and the first term should end in December. With the closure and reopenings, the teachers would definitely have to put in extra hours if they are to meet up with the schedule. All the while during the lockdown, we were able to reach out to our boys, even right in their various Zooms, through online teaching. Initially, we were using WhatsApp group, but later we started using a Google Classroom. Now we have to walk around the clock. Even at night, we come around to teach because we have borders. Majority of our students are borders. So we come around, we, in fact, we, we are just walking around the clock. In the evenings, we come around to teach the borders and the day students, so we reach out to them on the Google Classroom. As for the students, they were grateful to the school for all efforts put in place to keep academic activities ongoing, though some of them seem to have been enjoying schooling from home. Just like many other sectors in society, education too has taken a hit, maybe even two hits. And who knows, maybe this might just be a new normal that's been created. Maybe like work from home, schooling from home might just be the new normal. Bernard Akede, New Central Lagos.